Hello friends at home. In this lesson, I will be going over today's math with you. We are on lesson 4-4, which begins on page 129 in your math books. Before I get started, I just want to remind you, we've been learning about fact families. And a fact family is basically a way to show that addition and subtraction problems can be related. Often, if I'm not sure how to subtract, if I can figure out how I could add, it will then give me the answer to the subtraction problem. An easy way to do that is using a number line. And so for today's math, I'm going to show you how you can use your number line to figure out an addition problem that will give you the answer to a subtraction problem. So if you open up your books to page 129, at the top it says, Ryan finds six green leaves. Go ahead and circle six green leaves right here, and I'm going to circle the number six on my number line. The next thing it says is he finds four yellow leaves. So I'm going to circle the four on my number line. You should circle four yellow leaves. Now the question you should underline says, how many more green leaves are there? Well, if I count from four to six, one, two, I can see that there are two more green leaves. This works because four plus two equals six. Therefore, six take away two equals four. Let's go down now in your book to the part where it says practice. And I'm not going to do the ones that they filled in the answers for you. I want to focus on the ones where we need to come up with the answers. You have a number line in your book right here. I'm going to write on the number line at the bottom of the screen. You should write on the number line in your book. So the first thing that you should do when you look at this equation is say, what numbers do I already know? Well, I know 10. So right now on your number line, circle 10, and I'll circle 10 on my number line. And I also know the number 7. So go ahead and circle 7 on your number line, and I will circle the 7 on my number line. Now, we're trying to figure out 10 take away 7 equals some number. So if we ask ourselves, 7 plus some number will get us to 10, that number should be the answer or the difference to our subtraction problem. So starting at 7, let's count up to 10. 1, 2, 3. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Therefore, 10 take away 7 must be 3. So you can put your 3s on both of those lines. Now I'm going to skip down to number 4 because again, I wanna work on the ones that we have to solve. So on our number line, since we already did circles for seven and 10, I don't wanna do circles again, because if we do circles again, we might get confused when we're doing our jumps, trying to figure out where we're jumping to and from. So let's use triangles to circle our six and our two. So here's the first number we know, it's a triangle. And here's the second number we know, it's a triangle. So now I'm trying to solve for six, take away two will give me some number. So to do that, I'm going to say two plus one, two, three, four equals six. So six take away two must be four. Let's go now to the top of the next page. And in this part, we are looking at some equations and we're going to be connecting the related facts. So the first one they did for us, 10 minus three is seven. So you can go ahead and trace the seven, draw your line down here, and this missing number will also be seven. So let's take a look at number six. We have the numbers eight and zero. So on your number line right now, circle your eight, and circle your zero. And if we're trying to figure out eight take away zero, then we can ask ourselves zero plus what number would get us to eight? Zero plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8 hops gets us to 8. So if 0 plus 8 equals 8, then 8 take away 0 also equals 8. So we can connect these two problems, 8 minus 0 equals 8, and 8 plus 0 equals 8. The last problem there, we have a 9 and a 2. Let's use triangles to mark our 9 and our 2, and let's count our hops. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if 7 plus 2 equals 9, then 9 take away 2 equals 7. So go ahead and fill in your numbers, 7s, and connect here and here. Let's go down now to the word problem. It says here that Jess has 7 shells, so I'm going to circle the number 7. It says Trevor has 2 shells, so I'll circle the number 2. How many more shells does Jess have? Well, let's count the difference. One, two, three, four, five. So seven take away two equals five. All right, I'd like you now to look at the write about it. It says, show how you can use counting on to find the difference. So on our number line, the numbers we already know are nine and seven. So if you circle your nine and circle your seven, in order to solve 9 take away 7, we could say 7 plus what number would get us to 9? So 7 plus 1, 2 would get us to 9. So 9 take away 7 gets us back to 2. All right, moving on now to the top of the next page. This is just a review of what we're working on, so let's get right down to business here. I'll do one and two with you, and then I'll have you try to work through the rest on your own. So looking at number one, we have seven minus one. So I'm going to circle my seven and my one, and then let's count the difference. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So if six plus one equals seven, then 7 minus 1 equals 6. Let's go on now to number 2. This time I will use X's. So instead of triangles or squares or circles, I'll use X's for the 8 and the 7. So I have 8 and 7. I'm trying to solve 8 minus 7. So if I say 7 plus 1, or 1 plus 7 equals 8, then 8 minus 7 equals 1. All right, boys and girls, I want you to continue now on your own to finish up this page. Remember, each time you look at an equation, take the two numbers you already know and mark them on your number line. You can mark them with triangles, circles, squares. I just recommend using a different shape for each problem so you don't get confused when you start counting from number to number. Okay, so go ahead and try a few of these on your own. You can work through three and four. And then if you flip to the back, there's some more problems to work through. I know you'll do great on this. And we will continue to work more on this throughout next week. Goodbye, friends at home.